Okay, so um, last New Year's Eve, uh, Fish played as they do it normally on on New Year's Eve at Madison Square Garden, and there was a whole thing. People made fun of it. It's kind of a uh, um, Spinal Tap moment when uh, they do. They always do an elaborate shtick, a choreographed shtick. And this year's was beautiful. They had all these people dressed up as clones. It was color coded. It was great. But there was a minor hitch, which was that they were all the four guys with fish were going to be on these platforms that went up and down and up and down, color coded. And one of them got stuck. And it happened to be the one that the uh, main guy, Trey Anastasio, um, was on. And he got stuck and he was dangling and it was unsafe. And the guy, there were many people who thought he was going to get hurt. So he was stuck up there for an hour, and it was funny in retrospect, but at the time it was it was weird. So uh, at the end of the show, you know, 1 a.m., January 1st, 2020, um, the show ends, and Trey's still up there, and, like, the house lights kind of go up, and then they go down, and, like, a group of techs go up there on winches or whatever, and they got him down. And since everybody's still there watching Trey as a showman, he... he um, he improvised a song. Uh, Here comes the rescue squad. The song is now called Rescue Squad, and he was just like, "Here comes the rescue squad." And then, and then he gets to, when they got him, they put him on the next platform, which is where the drummer was. And Trey plays the drums a little bit, so he he started jamming out on the drums, and he started doing a beat, and he just started going "Rescue Squad, Rescue Squad." So now "Rescue Squad" that tune is like a thing, and. Uh, like two weeks later, Trey played a show up upstate and people had Rescue Squad shirts on and whatnot. It was very funny. Um, so anyway, they were in Mexico last night and um, uh, uh, they were jamming out to free. And it was, um, you know, it was, I think they had, it was like a nine minute version. And then they went into another song called Shipwreck and then they come back out of Shipwreck. Well, then the segue between Shipwreck back into free goes like this. So I'm going to play it because this is fun. This is why we like fish. All right. I'm not going to explain what the 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 um, backwards vocal sound you hear is. That would take that's too deep into lore. That would take a little bit too much time. But just bear with me here. All right. I'm not going to get into the cats either. The cat's another thing. So this is like like an embarrassing moment that happened for the band. Oh, oh he's going to jam out now. I'll get back to that thought in a minute. I'm not going to play the whole thing because we got another... Eh, maybe we can. Then they get into the song. So, um, yeah, why do I like fish? Because, like, there's this moment that was totally embarrassing. They had practiced. They had hired Broadway dancers. Uh, they had the beautifully choreographed. You could Google all this. It looks great. The still photos are great. But let's be honest. The guy did get stuck a la Spinal Tap up in the rafters of friggin' Madison Square Garden for an hour. And um, it put a damper on things to a degree. But... Now it's part of the now it's part of the lore. Rescue Squad is like is now part of the thing. Oh shit, here we come. Greatest band there ever was.
then it gets then it gets back. So that was last night in Mexico. That's pretty fun, right? I wish I was there. Well, I'll see him next time. <laughs>